Hey, have you been told to turn down your earphones because someone else could hear the music? You might want to be that cool cat with AirPods glued to your ears 24-7, but that's harmful. Show your ears some love because if they get damaged, your hearing will be gone for good. In today's video, let's discuss ways to protect your ears and improve your hearing. Should you be using cotton buds? Wait a minute, can yoga improve hearing? We're talking all that and more. Number one, turn down the volume of your earphones. Let me take you back to biology class and run you through the structure of your ears. Your ears are small, powerful organs. When sound reaches your ears, it funnels down and passes through a canal till it hits your eardrums. The curtain-like structure then passes the impulse to hearing nerves and then to the brain. When this chain is intact, you can hear crystal clear. As you age, your hearing capacity diminishes, but this is natural. Recently, an alarming number of the young population is facing hearing loss. So many of us walk around with earphones cranked up every day. This habit won't protect your hearing in the long run. It looks like the dangers are more with earbuds than chunky headphones. The reason being, speakers lie very close to the eardrum. The tinier the earphone, the more likely it will slide into the ear canal and lie close to the eardrum. This doesn't mean you stop listening to music. Music can have a life-altering effect on us. So what do we do? Go by the 60-60 rule. That means don't play your earphones higher than 60% volume for 60 minutes a day. You can also opt for noise cancellation headphones. That way you'll be able to hear the music at comfortable levels without having to turn it up to the highest level. Number two, use earplugs at noisy places. When people are young, they remember hearing every bird chirp in the morning or the sound of raindrops in a puddle of water. But as you age, you might struggle to hear these sounds. This might have something to do with your noisy workplace. Machinery like lawnmowers, chainsaws, or construction are notorious for robbing you of your hearing. Sound is measured in decibels. Higher decibels, dBs, are your worst enemy. Studies have shown that any sound above 85 dBs can have a permanent damaging effect. These machines can range anywhere between 98 dBs to 107 decibels. That does not mean you stop mowing your front lawn. Invest in a good pair of earplugs at the pharmacy. Make sure they're covering the entire ear. This will dampen the sound waves trying to reach your eardrums. Sometimes airports, gyms, clubs, concerts, and traffic jams can also get too noisy. How many times did you have to shout at the top of your voice to convey your drink order to the bartender? Take your new earplugs everywhere to safeguard your ear health. Number three, train your ears to hear on a low volume. It's not just old people cranking up the volume to hear. Many youngsters enjoy putting the stereo on full volume even if they have good hearing. Loud noise in confined spaces can exert too much pressure on your ears. However tempted you might be to play your favorite song on the highest volume while you drive around, it's best to keep it at a minimum. Hearing loss can be an accumulative effect. If you experience headaches or ringing in your ears, even after the volume has been turned off, your ears are already in a delicate spot. If you want to safeguard your precious hearing, try listening on low volumes. Number four, give your ears a break. It can take up to 16 hours of silent time for complete recovery after a sound bombardment on your ears. Also, remember to take a five minute break by going away from the speakers. The internal ear has tiny hair cells that help sweep the sound waves ahead, but if they're bombarded with loud noise, a few of them may die. Give your ears a relaxing break. Try to be off headphones for a few days. Also, put your phone on speaker whenever you receive a call in private. If you must listen to music, play it on low with regular speakers. This can revive the dead hair cells and bring back your ear health. A noise break can also help you get rid of the buzzing, ringing, and roaring inside your ears. Number five, get moving. This is one of the million reasons why you should exercise. Working out, especially cardio, can enhance your hearing sensitivity. A study correlated great cardiovascular health to great hearing. So try to squeeze in swimming, jump rope, cycling, jogging, or other exercises that up your heart rate in a short amount of time. Loud music can give some people a kick to push harder in the gym, but it won't help you in the long run. If you're a beginner, start by moving around the house a little more. More blood pumping through your system ensures more blood to your auditory system. Number six, yoga and meditation. If strenuous exercise doesn't suit your mojo, then we have an alternative. Go for yoga. Don't worry if you can't twist and turn your body into a pretzel, we have some simpler moves for you. Deep relaxing stretches like downward dog, triangle pose, tree pose, and bow pose can get oxygenated blood to your ears quickly. You don't need to join a fancy yoga class for this. You can simply start by doing mild stretches within the comfort of your own home. Breathing exercises and meditation can be the best stress busters. When you're under stress, there's already an existing pressure on your nerves, blood flow, and body temperature. 
You must have noticed your ears turning hot when you get angry. Sometimes it even causes a ringing sensation in the ears called tinnitus. Relaxing techniques can help you get better control over yourself in panic situations. This can be a perfect option for those looking for a holistic betterment of hearing. With a focused mind and sharper concentration, you'll even be able to hear sounds that might have otherwise slipped your attention. Before we go ahead, try do yoga for 10 minutes every day, see what happens to your body. Number seven, quit smoking. Is this the weirdest thing you've heard for enhancing hearing? Let us break it down for you. Healthy hearing happens when there's proper blood flow of oxygenated blood reaching your hearing cells. Smoking creates hypoxia in your system. This means there's an oxygen deficit. That deficit is leveled up by toxic gases like carbon monoxide and nicotine. The cells of your ears start shutting down without oxygen, causing hearing impairment. It's only in your best interest to say no to tobacco. Number eight, exercise your brain. It's not enough just to work out those muscles and joints. Making your brain strong is equally vital. Hearing centers are located in the brain. When the hearing impulse reaches your brain, it acts as a processing unit to convert the impulse into hearing. But with age, your brain and the gray cells start shrinking. People who are engaged in mental activities like formal education, learning new languages, challenging it with numbers, or just learning a new musical instrument can stop their brain from aging. So try solving that Sudoku puzzle or a game of chess to sharpen your mental paucities as well as your hearing. Number nine, vitamin supplements. Refined junk food like chips, sugary sodas, and fatty meats are no good for your body. They increase the bad cholesterol and clog the arteries, even your ears. If your diet lacks fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts, legumes, and healthy fish, supplements should be on your list. Try to get B vitamins to facilitate better blood circulation. They're also important to maintain the health of your nervous system. Micronutrients like folic acid, zinc, and magnesium also have a big role in better hearing. Also, remember to have lots of vitamin C, as it is a powerhouse of antioxidants and can combat free radicals, thus can prolong the onset of age-related hearing problems. But remember, never to self-medicate. Some painkillers may cause hearing loss, too. Never hesitate to talk to your doctor before taking any supplement as part of a regular diet. Number 10. Dry your ears. We often avoid cleaning the ears, especially after a shower or a swim, but allowing that water to sit in your ear canal can cause something called swimmer's ear. Moist conditions allow bacteria to grow, causing an ear infection. This is a serious condition as it can cause permanent hearing damage. Tilt your head and gently pull your earlobe to break the seal and allow water to flow out. If you still feel water, try patting it dry with a soft towel. There are also waterproof plugs that act as a barrier between your ears and the water from the pool. You must never forget to get rid of pool water as it's a source of bacteria. Number 11, don't use cotton buds. We highly recommend you ditch the Q-tips or cotton buds. These devices have created a false mindset of cleaning the ear canal efficiently. In reality, these buds just push the earwax deeper. Accumulation of debris and wax can cause temporary hearing loss. That's why keeping the canal clean is absolutely important. Doctors also advise you to refrain from using any kind of cleaning instruments in your ears. Hot oils and water sprays should never be put inside your ears. If you feel there's still a lot of gunk after trying these methods, you can always go for a professional cleanup. It's not always about removing earwax correctly. Sometimes pesky little insects can also get trapped inside your ears. Do you know how to get rid of them? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more ear cleaning related videos, shall we? Watch An Insect Flew Into Your Ear, What Should You Do Next? Or Four Home Remedies for Removing Earwax. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to keep your ears clean. Do you know any other reasons for deafness? Let us know in the comments below.